Let's move on to Philip Riverside's massive contract. Uh, four years, $83 million, $65 million guaranteed. Now, many people believe that now this will be the benchmark for Eli Manning signing a contract extension. You covered the Giants for a long time. Do you believe that Eli, right now, deserves to be the highest paid quarterback in the league? Well, I think in all these negotiations, it's always about what leverage you have. What you get paid is about what leverage you have. Obviously, Eli's had success in New York. He's won two Super Bowls. But more than that is that what his cap number is at this season, you have to look about if the team were to not sign him to an extension and they were to use an exclusive franchise tag on him each of the next two seasons, then he would be earning more than $25 million per season. So that has to be his benchmark because he says, if I don't agree to a long-term deal, you're going to have to tag me. I'm a known commodity in New York. You don't want to try to find someone else to play. He knows the Giants want him to be their quarterback. So he says, if you tag me, this is what you're going to pay. He's not going to agree to less than that.